Meet Colin Groves, primatologist, mammologist. He's a mammal who studies other mammals. He was a former colleague at the Australian National University, and we miss him for his humility and his deep understanding of mammals. So here he is studying a gorilla skull, and he's, here he is talking to a chimpanzee in 2003. Now, he's written many, many books. Here are a couple of them, Horses, Asses, and Zebras. He studied the ancestors for pigs, Australian mammals, and also ungulates, ungulate taxonomy here. A couple of other books include this one here about extended family, human and primate evolution, and primate taxonomy. So I sat down with him in his office here at ANU, and we talked all things primate and how we are primates and how we became us. My name is Colin Groves. I recently retired as Professor of Biological Anthropology and uh, I'm also a mammalogist and a primatologist. Okay, and uh, so you know about primates? Oh yes. Are you a primate? I am. Are you a, uh, an ape? Oh yes, are, are you? Are you a greater? <laughs> I am, certainly. Yeah. Are you a great ape? A great ape, yes. Are you an African? Um, ultimately, yes. All right, and uh, are you a fish? Well, ultimately, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Long time ago, I was a fish. So, you know, the chimps and humans had a common ancestor how long ago? Um, probably about six million. Genetics shows that chimpanzees have diverged as much as humans. Um, and in fact, the chimpanzee genome is very slightly larger than the human genome. So I've heard that sexual dimorphism, so males bigger and females smaller, yeah. is often associated with whether there's monogamy or not. Uh, no sexual dimorphism means either that you're monogamous or that you're promiscuous. Chimps are promiscuous, highly. And orangutans? Orangutans, they are, like in everything else, odd. <laughs> okay. so. Promiscuous, if you like. Um, and they have something that no other ape and uh, only a couple of other primates have, which is um, uh, that they can delay, the males can delay full physical maturity. In Homo sapiens, we talk about heterosexual men and homosexual yeah. men. Yeah. If you tried to do that with bonobos, it would just be a useless exercise yeah. everybody's because everybody's a... everybody is everything. Everybody's everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What I've, I've not found another species in which um, individuals are sort of decisively homosexual for life. Um, what they uh, do do is exhibit homosexual behaviour at times. There was a case of um, a troop of mountain gorillas that was studied. It consisted only of males. There was um, a silverback male and a couple of blackbacks and a couple of infant males and their only female had died. And they then, for as long as that troop persisted, they exhibited homosexual behaviour. Right now, humans seem to be doing species side mm. with most of the great apes. They're taking yeah. away their environments and their numbers are just plummeting. Yeah. What can one do about that? Yeah. Well, um, taking away their environment, one can't do anything except try to spread um, family planning. Um, but um, in the meantime, the immediate things are humans are actually killing great apes. Um, in, in West Africa, for example, um, for food. So what do you think the most successful thing is that you can do, or I can do, or the people listening here can do to prevent the extinction yeah. of our closest well, relatives. The field workers have done something very nice. They've often taken local people to see their study troops. And so, you know, they take them up to the gorillas and, and the villagers watch this. And they've not regarded them as anything but either food or crop raiders yes. before. Yes. And they suddenly see a gentle male who is nice to his family, taking care of them, um, is, is like a, 
a human being. They get completely different ideas. How can your expertise or how can a knowledge about primates and hominids and gorillas and how can that help us figure out our, whether we're alone or not? In the universe? In the universe or I guess on Earth. On I, guess. Earth? <laughs> I don't know. We're, in some ways we're alone. In other ways, if we'd see it, we're not. I mean, we, we already have our dogs, don't we? For example, humans say, oh, look at us, we got this bigger brain than our yeah. common ancestors. We are hairless and we walk on two feet. These are all yeah. very obvious traits that humans are very proud of that mm -hmm. distinguish us from the common ancestor with, uh, with yeah. chimps. But are there, aren't there any equally obvious ones with uh, chimps? Uh, well, um, yes, when you see chimps mating. The male chimp has a, an incredibly long, thin, almost spike-like penis, and the female develops an enormous pink cushion-like sexual swelling. And uh, when, she, when she comes into sexual receptivity and then when she's mated, the sexual swelling deflates very quickly. That is something quite um, unprecedented in the apes.